Hello everyone, and this is going to be a short video on creating a mirror volume. Now, a mirror volume contains two discs, each of which is an identical copy of the other, providing full fault tolerance at the expense of recording twice the amount of space. So, if I have two discs, and if I create a mirror volume, what it's going to do is it's going to use space from disc one and disc two, and it's going to mirror them across each other. So, if disc one was to fail, I'll still have the other disc available to retrieve my data. So let's create one. So before this what I did was I created I uh, attached two one GB hard drives to my system and I give it a partition table. So when first when the first uh, when you attach a drive it says a basic drive. So what we have to do is we need to convert it into a dynamic volume. So to convert it to in a dynamic volume what I'm going to do is I'll go on disk 1 and do a right click, it says here convert to dynamic volume. I'll click this and here it's asking me that you can select more than one volumes to convert to dynamic volume. So I'm going to select disk 2 with it and I'll press OK. And if you did notice it says now disk 1 dynamic 1 GB. Uh, so let's create our mirror volume now. Now if I go on disk 1 and I'll do a right click I can go here as new mirrored volume I'll do next now he's asking me how much space do I want from disk 1 I'll take say 100 and if you did notice it says that the next option is not highlighted and so at least I said as I said it needs two disks for mirroring each other so it says available disk 2 I'll click disk 2 and add it and you can see automatically it's taken 100 MB from disk 2 I'll do next and here I can assign a letter for my drive uh, whatever I wish let's take A I'll do next now here it's asking me uh, with what file system do I want to format it with I'll use NTFS I'll do next and then finish Now you see it's created these red volumes and this is my mirrored volume, you can see it's a mirrored volume. And though it's hundred it's taking hundred MB from here and hundred MB from this disk, but if I check from my PC, you can see it's created a volume A with only ninety-nine MB of space. So what's gonna do is it's going to mirror across each other the uh, uh, my data. So it does provide for tolerance, but it did eat up double the amount of space. Now if I go back to my disk and I do a right click, you you don't have an option of extend it or shrink it. And but if you don't, uh, it says remove mirror. You can remove the mirroring also if you want. Uh, and if I was to remove the mirror, it says which uh, drive do you want to remove it. I do disk 1, remove mirror, I do yes, and you can see from disk 1 it's all gone. From disk 2, it's created from, it's become a simple volume. You can see the green says simple volume. From mirror, it has become a simple volume. So, guys, this was creating a simple volume, oh, sorry, a mirrored volume. Uh, thanks for watching.